So astronomers for, for generations have been looking at the sky, and of course we've done multi-wavelength, multi-energy astronomy. So we look in the optical, or we look in the infrared, or the radio, or we can go to higher energies and look in the X-rays and gamma rays. Uh, it turns out that when you look at the distant universe much above the TeV scale, uh, gamma ray scale, uh, the universe actually becomes opaque. And so multi-messenger astronomy, in particular neutrinos, using neutrinos instead of light or photons, has the promise of being able to look at energies well beyond what we can do optically. So you go from multi-wavelength to multi-messenger, and it brings in higher energy um, uh, processes that you might be able to observe. And it's also a different messenger particle, which gives you complementary information. So when we talk about multi-messenger astronomy, we're using light of multi-wavelengths, we're using neutrinos, and of course now with the great success of LIGO, we're also using gravity waves.